In this video, we will cover starting your 45cc petrol chainsaw. Okay, just a couple of things before we go through the, the starting. Just make sure you've added uh, your fuel into the, uh, the rear section of the, of the housing here uh, at 40 to 1. And in the front, uh, we add the chain oil. Uh, it's important to add that chain oil when you first start because the chain is, uh, is new and um, uh, uh, we want to make sure that it's well lubricated at the beginning of, uh, of the startup. Just making sure before you attempt to start it that the, the, the bar cover is off. Don't try and start it with the bar cover on. For the first time of starting, the day you go out to do your, 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 your cutting, uh, you'll probably have to use the choke. So it's only a matter of pulling the choke fully outwards like so. To turn the ignition on on the, uh, on the saw, you need to lift the on off switch like so. And also we have a throttle lock for the starting procedure. And it's a matter of pushing down on the locking lever, pulling fully up on the trigger applying pressure inwards on the lock button and then as you're pushing on the lock button slowly release the trigger. As you release the trigger the alignment in the trigger and the, uh, the lock button will align and it will lock into place like so. To release it it's only a matter when it starts just to um, pull on the trigger like so and the lock button uh, it disengages. So again, push it down, trigger on full, apply pressure to the lock button and slowly release the trigger and it will jump into place and lock in. This is a uh, uh, an easy start type um, pull starter. There is no need to rip the, the handle off the, <laughs> off the cord. You only just have to gently pull it and the internal spring will do the rest of the work. Okay, so just a quick one, we pull the choke on, turn the ignition on, the trigger lock is in position and locked on, and we place the saw on the ground. Do not hold the saw up and pull like so. It puts a big strain on the starter, and also the unit is partly out of control. So, on the ground, Place your foot on the on the handle like so, and it's only a matter of now just gently pulling this out like so. Now, if it kicks like that, as soon as you get the motor to actually kick, it's a matter of then of just pushing the choke lever in like so, and then it's only a matter of pulling again. So, after you've started the saw and it's been running for uh, uh, a minute or so, it's always good to uh, accelerate the saw with the, the chain close to an object. A log is usually the best, and just to make sure that the oil is being thrown off onto, onto the log, so you can just see that the, uh, the oil is getting onto the chain. It is required to go onto the chain um, uh, from, the, from the start, but sometimes it'll take up to a minute to come through. After you've used the, uh, had the saw running for a couple of minutes, you need to turn it off and just retention the chain because this will become loose after the first operation of the saw. So it's a matter of just uh, loosening off the, um, the two nuts here and tightening up as per the manual to tighten up that, that loose chain. 